The joke amongst my friends is that I don't speak English or Spanish. I speak Spanglish. And I'm super proud of Spanglish because it's the reflection of my complex identity. It's the mixed language of the conquistador, of the enslaved Africans, of the indigenous people. And so language is powerful. It can be used to unify us or to oppress us. When the conquistador packed their ship onto the Americas, they were strategic about language. They mixed the different enslaved Africans together, the different tribes together, so that they were unable to communicate. As the English language developed on land, the enslaved Africans developed new words, code words, that would secretly enable them to express themselves. But this isn't to anyone's surprise. The human language has been in a constant state of reinvention for centuries, from pidgin language to creole to slang. Slang stands for shortened language and is more playful than ordinary language. It's usually restricted to a particular context or group of people, but I want to challenge us to think of slang not as a restriction, but as an opportunity to create community, just as the enslaved Africans did. So three years ago, when I started to learn how to code, I discovered a new language, a, a new community, <laughs> a community of coders, of people who were making really cool things like interactive comics and robots, and I was lit. <laughs> I, had <laughs> I had convinced myself that if I could learn this new language, I'd be able to contribute and make cool things too. But as I started to learn how to code, I became more frustrated and, in fact, became more isolated. I just didn't understand the language people were talking in. And when I found out that there's no slang in code, I was tight. <laughs> I was tight because I felt limited. How was I supposed to be playful with numbers? See, in order to understand or to express yourself in code, you have to have a basic understanding of code logic and a decent amount of math. See, expressing yourself in this context looks like math. And it became clear to me. It's a privilege to think this way. Depending on your household income, your school district, your school teacher, you can be easily turned off by code. And on top of that, computer programming languages aren't very flexible. They're usually designed to understand the computer, not to understand the user. So I started to think about the user, me, and the slang that I love to use. And I asked myself, what could a computer programming language that uses slang look like, and what would it be used for? So I made a little test. Meet Hector Lavo. We're going to be manipulating his image by using a library I've been developing called Code Slang. We're going to be using one of my favorite slang words, Hella. <laughs> I attempted to interpret Hella in code by manipulating the amount or the size of the images. Let's go back to Hector. The backend code on the right is, uh, produces the image on the left. Pretty simple code. And in traditional computer programming languages, if I wanted to make more of these images, I'd probably do something like this, a simple for loop. But if I tried to do the same thing using Hella, I'd probably get something like this. And if I specify that I'm using Hella, but I mean size, I'd probably get something like this. But if I manipulate this image using Hella with no particular context, I get something like this. This is the computer's interpretation of what it thinks I mean when I say hella. And when I look at this, I see something beautiful. I see the beginnings of a computer programming language that uses machine learning and approachable syntax. What can we learn from this conversation? If I can understand what the computer is trying to say because it's saying it in my natural language, then I can approach code differently. Approachable syntax makes digging into code into a fun learning experience. Imagine being so curious about code that you want to understand the inner workings. So as I move forward with code slang, I'm designing it so that it adheres to principles of accessibility. That means that its library, pre-compiled functions just like Hella, can be updated by its users. So think of code slang as the code version of Urban Dictionary. 
that its functions are flexible. So again, just like Hella, you can get as general or specific as you like. And that its output is visual, as to play into visual learning. Code slang removes the tools that remove our identity. Spanglish isn't just a joke amongst my friends. It's retaining a culture. It's meeting people where they're at, and it's celebrating the way we communicate. Imagine a computer programming language we can take Hello Pride into. Gracias.